everyone, and welcome back to an episode of Jump Press's World Alive. Welcome back, everybody. It has been a hot minute, right? What has it been like? Five days? Six days? Or I don't even know. Maybe it's only been three since we've had a Jurassic World Alive video. And I bet you've missed it because there's been not much happening. <laughs> well, I tell you what has actually been happening is this. I am now 5,415. Hey, sweet. This is why I don't have all the incubators, but... We have still got the Dominion sort of uh, thing going on, this event, as you can see. We've still got the uh, Biosyn Sanctuary Lab thingy-ma-bobby uh, there. Um, and where I am, I've, there's Gorgosaurs. Gorgosaurs friggin' it, are they any good? God knows. Well, I've got plenty of them. Um, but if we look in the shop, VIP, we can always ignore VIP because pretty much there's never anything good for VIP. But if we go all the way to the top, you can sort of ignore all of these, really. But at the very end, you have a Jurassic World Dominion sent for only 200 bucks. So it's not too expensive. 100 bucks would be brilliant. And I don't even know how many I have of these, actually. Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought these things were the Giga cents. I was like, for 200 bucks, you basically get a free Giga? Hell yeah. Right, okay, never mind. I was thinking that that was actually going to be, um, what you call it? The, uh, the actual Giga center was going to give us a free Giga. But we will get Giga DNA. But also, before that, before I... I never realized I never used to edit with headphones on. So I apologize if the whole time... My whole YouTube career, I've been popping people's uh, eardrums the whole time by going. It's like ah ah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing it to myself now. So there you go. I'm editing with headphones because we were in this setup, and you, as you can see, it sort of changed behind me a little bit. Did we have anything on the walls over there? I don't think we did actually. So I'm sort of soundproofing this. I'm building a whole new setup. It's brilliant. It will all become clear. I'm just waiting on a couple of things to sort of get the green light on, some things to deliver, and I'd be like, this is the reason. <laughs> um, so, yes, before we get into anything, uh, I actually wanted to post this because this is the update, or sorry, not the update, this is the events coming up this week because it is Thursday now, so we've still got the commons knocking about. So that is Iguanodon, Velociraptor, and Kalasaur Gen 2, and Apatosaur. You've got 24 attempts to those. Uh, really, today, you've got, you've got, what, a incubator to give you the Dominion scent and then uh, uh, some other ones are a bit meh. But there is, however, somewhere on the map there should also be an attack incubator thing. So maybe that'll clock over, God knows. But Friday to Saturday, you've got nine attempts to dart either a Pyraptor, which why would you? Uh, <laughs> a Giga, which of course you will, and the Lith Litharanus, whatever, it could, that new little tiny thing with the little discs. Um, and out of those, so nine attempts, I would say do the Giga. Giga has a unique hybrid and I don't know, it's still pretty new. So I don't know how good it is, but we will unlock it this video. Hey, uh, and then on Sunday, you've got one attempt to dart either a Parasaur Lux, the Litho, whatever it is, hybrid, um, Lystrus, Lystrosaurus, is it? I don't know, God knows. It's a Lystaenosaur thing. And then the Dreadnought Ramphorhynchus hybrid. Out of those, I'm probably going to dot the Parasaur Lux because that goes into the Ankylosaur Lux and I just want to get that to level 30. But not only that, on the Sunday, you also have its... Guys, there's really no point in this. You have got you can dot one attempt for a Trichosaur or, if you feel lucky, an Indoraptor because out of all of those, I think Indoraptor is probably the hardest. I think the Indoraptor animation is the hardest to dart. Um, I don't think Trichosaur is too bad, but I could be wrong. Who knows? And then from... I don't know why they've started doing it from Wednesday. Uh, Monday to Tuesday is the res. So I think it's probably easing you back into the week. It's like, oh, you started your work again. Well, at least you get to dart some res. And out of these, you've got Dilophosaur, T-Rex Gen 2, Dimetrodon, and Therizinosaurus. Out of those, you probably want to dart T-Rex Gen 2 or Therizinosaurus. Dimetrodon, Dilophosaur have been out for a while, so and I don't think they really have any hybrids. But Dilophosaur and Dimetrodon probably do, but you've probably already got loads of that. Uh, but T-Rex Gen 2, I think, is used for something. I can't remember what, but there definitely is something. And there is an source, is, of course, the new thing. So I, at this stage, I don't think it has a hybrid, but I wouldn't be surprised if they end up giving it a hybrid. So that's the end of that little update. Uh, I want to just see if I can actually dart a Gorgosaur without the game sort of freezing. Oh, we've got this new glitch. So oh, wait, no, we don't. Okay, I was going to say they just fixed the glitch 
inside of Jurassic World, the game, which means that when you win something, you uh, the game freezes if you win a battle. Uh, but now it doesn't. They fixed it. So that's good. But I was wondering if just as they fixed that, they buggered up Jurassic World alive. <laughs> Yeah, that would make sense, yes. Um, so, brilliant. Uh, so we've done that. Um, there was something else I wanted to uh, show as well. Actually, yes, here it is. I will throw this up because if we quickly go into... And I'll just do this because I want to show an example. Because I was a bit confused on this. And now it's being cleared up. Thanks to uh, Big Bang Science on Discord. So, if you are like me, a bit confused about how the uh, the sanctuaries work, as in how they give experience, uh, Big Bang gave me this massive wall of text. So, if they're all level 30, technically they should all give the same. So, if I, you know, feed a T-Rex, I get 161 experience for the, the sanctuary. But, if I was to feed a level 30 um, Comsognathus Gen 2, I only get 106. So you might be thinking, oh, wait a minute. Well, maybe that's because that's a rare. But if I feed the Andrew Sarkis or Andrew Suchus, whatever it's called, uh, I get 114. So it's actually a little bit more. Now, like I said, I'll probably throw this whole big wall of text up and you can pause it to read it if you want to. Basically, it all boils down to if it has boosts on it, excuse the ambulance. <laughs> I've got the window open because it is boiling. I mean, if I can hear that in my headphones, I'm sure you guys can hear that. <laughs> um, so basically, if a dinosaur is level 30, um, it will give the most it can do uh, generally. Um, but if you put boosts on the dinosaur, then it gives even more. So a T-Rex that's had like max boosts on it will give that maximum amount. So because if we do the same to Titanoboa, it only gives 140. Oh, and there's a lovely animation. Oh, I can't look. I can't look. It's horrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wham. Uh, so yeah, that is the whole sanctuary thing explained. And with that out of the way, thank you, Big Bang Science. Let's get into my team. I don't know why sometimes it tells you how much DNA you've got. And sometimes it just shows you the names. Again, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that. But randomly, I'll log in and be like, oh, sweet. I don't get to see how much DNA things have. Nice. Love it. Wish there was some way of telling. The only way I know how to fix it is to log in and log out. Uh, so this is the Giga Hybrid, the Giganx. What? It's a weird name. But hey ho, here we are. Unfortunately, it looks exactly the same as Tristornix, which is what it's fused to make. Uh, I was hoping it would be, I don't know. They never usually give some unique thing. It's either going to look like a Giga or it's going to look like, like the Trico thing. So here it is. Is it any good is the question though. Giganx, look at you. Lovely with your red eyes. Wow, okay. Yeah, it looks a little bit longer, but then again, I never really used uh, this thing. The, what is it? This The thing you use to make it? The Tristornix. I never used that. I know some people might actually have it to level 30, which is interesting. Uh, so, let's have a look. So, it has 25% chance to crit, so... Eh, it's alright. Eh, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than 5%. 25 is pretty decent. Uh, Fierce Devouring Cleanse. So, it cleanses itself and it can heal itself if it survives. Uh, obstructing Fierce Impact. So... Swap prevent for two turns, remove shield and taunt, and bypass his armor. So, pretty decent. Uh, the fierce rampage is the thing you're going to have to wait one turn for. Um, cleanse vulnerable, which most things do, if I've got to be honest. Vulnerable is very, very rare for me anyway that it makes a difference. Um, but you do twice the damage and bypass armor and break shield. Now, this is where we get into it. <laughs> it's got the crushing alert showdown. Why? Why do you have this? It has the same thing Giga does. Okay, ferocious restore. So, this is a bit like refresh that the Tristonics had. So, team, increase critical hit chance by 30%. Incre so, it could be good for raids, possibly, this thing. And increase damage 50% for two attacks in four turns. And self-cleanse and increase speed by 10%. So, you get a speed increase, you get a critical hit uh, increase by 30%, and an attack increase by 50%, as well as healing yourself a certain amount as well. So, and that does have a cooldown of three, so you could, I mean, there's no point really swapping it. Uh, I mean, unless you're above the 50% or whatever you are, so you're not threatened, because otherwise you're healing the other dinosaur. Because if you're not, you, you, you heal yourself, so it's not too bad. So we'll, so stun, 75% chance, okay, that's a good amount. 100% is perfect, but 75% chance, if you're getting stunned by that, you're very unlucky. Swap prevention, always good to have it, 50%. Rend, good. Uh, damage over time and rend are 
two things are very good at because that means that basically any Draco Rex is going to do nothing to you. Um, and any Titana Boa kind of hybrid won't do anything to you. Vulnerable, okay, and a speed decrease you're immune to, but unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be something that Referantum's going to steamroll. Uh, the, the fact that it, it damage resistance, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm okay. Don't know if it's going to be any good. It does have a pretty decent speed with 125. That's very good. So it could be quite a fast. I mean, if you were to send this out first, go for a ferocious restore, get a 10% increase and you've maxed its speed. And then next turn, go for fierce rampage. It might be doable. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing stopping somebody else swapping out and then, you know, swapping in something to kill you. But hey ho. It, it's there. It's not the best, it's not the worst. The other hybrid we do have, there we go, is the Dreadactylus. I think that's how you say its name. I don't know, it may have a hybrid? Like a unique, possibly? So, 5% five, 5 armor. Oh, not bad, I suppose. 5% uh, crit chance, so basic. Uh, stuck landing. So when you swap in, you, you gain 100% chance to dodge. You counter vulnerability. So you do actually do some damage and make them vulnerable when you're attacked. And of course, you've got the flock thing, which means that unless something hits all opponents, most things and most teams have something that can counter that. So your 100% resistance is done. All right. Uh, speed decrease, very good. And rend. Okay, so not so bad. Basically, not the worst, but also not the best. I don't even think it's anywhere close to the best, let's be honest. Oh, hey, ho, Oranosaurus. Oh, I'll take it, I'll take this. Oh, sweet, game broke. Swat, that brilliant, yes. <laughs> I have this thing at a pretty high level because at the start, when this game first came out, uh, I had, I don't know, there weren't many hybrids, if, if at all. Were there hybrids? I, I think there probably was. I think Trichosaur was in it from the beginning, wasn't it? So it was quite hard to get it. Um, but Oranosaurus and Woohoosaurus or Wurosaurus were really freaking good, if I remember correctly. No, oh, it's level 15. I think it only needs to be level 10. Oh, maybe it was something else. Maybe it's Woohoosaurus that got to like level 23 or something. Okay, so I have a mission still left to do in this. Oh, I like how they've added a little bit of a graphic there. Sweet. Uh, so we've got 20 days until the next thing comes. And I'm sure it's probably just going to give you more Rexy. And But the, the price tag for this is ridiculous. It, it's way too high. Too high, man. It's... Jam City, all of you, whoever's decision it is, maybe even Universal, they're getting too greedy with this game, if I'm going to be honest. And it's, I feel like even in the comments, I see people like, yeah, I'm not playing this anymore. So I'd love to know, like, what's happening with the player base as they're introducing, like, more things that are microtransaction heavy. Rexy's basically pay to win. Um, this now Tyrant Pass, which <laughs> you can use it for free, but it's got two different tiers. Two! One that's like 14 quid and one that's 30 odd quid, you know, which is like 40 or 50 dollars, God knows. And for a season, that's crazy, man. That is like, not even Fortnite or anything, all those games that sort of spearheaded it do anything like that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not that I've ever played Fortnite, really. Uh, use this ability three times, gashing wound. So, what, we, what I normally do when I get a stupid thing like this... Uh, is just go- I mean, it's not too hard, really, but I- I mean, there's no way to filter in this game what Gashing Wound is. So basically just type in Jurassic World Alive Gashing Wound. And it takes me straight to the wiki, and then has a list of dinosaurs that have it. And basically, I'm kind of wondering whether this is actually going to work or if it's glitch. Dimorphodon or Spinatoraptor has those moves. So, instead of actually, you know, trying to do battles and use those moves, this is what I do. Now, if I ever have to do anything like this, there is one of these that I go to all the time because it is super easy. Uh, and I'll show you which one is like my little beaver top secret tips. Resilient strike, it's this one. Um, and I don't even think I've done the two star. Oh no, I have, okay. So, so gashing wound. So I, I, I wanna check whether or not this actually works because I feel like I've done something like this in the past and it was user's ability three times and it was something that only like a Brachiosaur or something could do. So this must be a gashing wound. Okay. Oh, a high pounce. Oh, maybe I'm dead in one hit. Oh, I even got the crit as well. <laughs> I think you have to win though. It's not just enough to just use it. Uh, it has no resistance. It's going to probably die. I think I'll just switch in Stego. Stego does. I mean, I didn't really have to, I suppose. But hey ho. Oh, a rampage. Is that three times the damage? I don't know. Is it the same as high pounds? It is the same. It just doesn't, like, do attack damage. And there you go. Another high pounds. 
Whoa, there's level 12. <laughs> it's true done. I guess I've only done one attack to it, though, haven't I? So, hey-ho. And there it is. The crit wipes it out. Sweet. Easy done. And then you can just repeat this, like, two more times. And hopefully it doesn't glitch. If it does glitch, I'm probably gonna have to... Uh, what's it called? Oh, not here. I'm probably gonna have to, like, refresh that mission. Because sometimes they are a bit flaky. <laughs> and there it is! Five! Sweet. And we've used our incubator. And we should be able to get... Oh, brilliant. Now, for some odd reason, sometimes I get 90 giga. And I think it's because I end up missing a day. So I get punished for it. Which is really bad. Uh, don't know why Ludger are doing that. But hey-ho. Any way to wrangle more money, isn't it? Yes, Jam City. Yes. Ooh, we'll see what we get in here as well. Maybe something good. Ooh, three attack boosts I'll take. A Rad and an Eagle. Sweet. Okay, so let's hopefully get a Rexy in some battles, shall we? Have we got Rexy? Oh, ho, ho, we got Rexy. You know what? Sod it. I'm just going to start with it. Start out strong, right? Start out the way we mean to go on. Is it going to be against something that's super tanky? Okay. Actually, this isn't too bad when I think about it. Because, um, he's... Pr if I was him, I'd want to switch out. Yeah. Okay. That's going to do a lot. Oh, no. At level 24, it's scary the amount of damage. And I resist this. Okay, he's going to do, like, intimidate. Yeah. Intimidating impact. Now, what if he switches out? Now, this is the thing. Most people don't face up against Rexy. So they don't know if they switch out, they die. And um, there may be a chance. Oh, he's going to go for revenge taunting cloak. Okay. Well, I feel like he's probably dead. Yeah, whether he, <laughs> whether he got the dodge off or not, which he did, he still died. So, you know what? Rexy took out Indotaurus. It's, yeah. I swear, I don't know what's happened, but for whatever reason, like, loads of people are using Forex now. I don't know whether the meta has changed or whether it got a buff, but I see it so often. Um, I mean, he's probably just, wait, what? Why do you waste that? You should, like, I couldn't go for anything, and if I swapped out, I would die. You shouldn't have done that, but all right. Um, I guess that's not so bad. Go, go. Uh, 4,700. I think I'm just gonna go for the Scorpius. I mean, what's he gonna do? He's probably gonna do the sidestep, um, and cleanse himself. I mean, he could go for an attack. I mean, what's the stun resistance on the 75%? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's, he's got a good chance of surviving this, I suppose. Um, really, I wanted something... Ooh, yeah, not only did we not go through the dodge, we didn't get the, the stun, and now we're pretty much dead. Or are we? Because we could just go for this. Because I do, he's probably going to go for the, like, I don't know, big hit, get out, do some damage. But at least this way, um, we're going to negate that damage a little bit. Yeah, and we're still going to take a hefty chunk of damage from the bleed. But let's see what else comes in. Oh, oh no, that's, that's not good. Ugh. I mean, Gorgo Trebex, probably... I guess I could go for... I could go for this and do a crap ton of damage to him. And then have Gorgo Trebex come in next and just kill it. You know, yeah, let's do that. We could even get a crit here. Oh, we got the crit. Not that it makes too much of a difference. Um, he's going to be pretty happy with this, though, I think. Um, yeah, Hostile Glow. I get the feeling that... We've won this one. It depends what his other dinosaur is, because he can't swap out. Um, he'll probably go for... I, am I completely resistant to a stun? I am. Okay, this is good. Because now I can just go for the nullify and kill it. I don't think even with its armor it can survive. Yeah, that was the best thing you could do just to do some damage. Yeah, uh, but I've got so much health. Like 7,100 health is ridiculous. It's so good, though. Right, okay, now watch your other dinosaur. Watch your dance, because if you switch in four Rex, you're dead. I don't think there's anything you can do against me. I feel like there's nothing you can do. Oh, and the deer! Ooh, okay, okay. Um, I still feel like I'm in with a good shot here. Yes, you can speed reduce me. Um, hmm. Uh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm, that's a lot of health for a deer. And he's put speed on it as well. Because what I want to do next turn is just nullify. He's quicker. So, oh, I can't nullify. Uh oh <laughs> Is it all speed reducing stuff? It is all speed reducing stuff. 
Okay, okay, yeah, I, I'm, I think I've lost this one. Yeah, he's gonna heal. I mean, best case scenario, he probably goes for digging here. Um, and then kind of wastes it. He's probably gonna be quicker than me if he does. Oh, God. Yeah, we've lost no matter what here. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. You see, these battles always turn into, wait, I'm in with a chance. Wait, I'm not, and I die. <laughs> like, this team wasn't the best. Like, I mean, I still have Rex in my team. It's... You You saw her, right? Oh, wait, what? what's going on? What's going on? What? I, oh, you just want to beat me by this, do you? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I think he's just decided whether I, like, stay in or swap or try and make this win. He's won no matter what. Because he can just go for his superior, superior vulnerability and just kill me. Like, yeah. He's decided to close the game knowing he's gonna win. <laughs> oh no, he hasn't. I was gonna say that is that's that's I don't know, it's dedication if he's done that. Do I get the stun? Oh, I don't even get the stun. Well, it was worth a shot. I wasn't I don't even think Oh, maybe if I had got the stun, I could have been in with a chance there, but no. Not really. Sweet, let's see if we can actually win a battle, shall we? Good god. Hey, 5,300, sweet! Okay, uh, this is this is more of like a basic team. I think the only one who's like OP here is Referendum. <laughs> the rest are kind of meh. So, you know what? You start with Indotaurus, let's start with Indotaurus. Worst case scenario is not actually had Rissol look. Strangely enough, I, I'm, I think we both nullify each other out. I mean, he's probably expecting me to go for Cloak. Most of them do. Very rarely do they expect me to go for an attack because they never go for Rampage. They expect me to go for Cloak. Oh! <laughs> never mind. Whoops. Okay, so what are you going to do? What are you going to... Like, if... I have no... I realize now I have nothing on my team that swaps in and does damage. Nothing. I think the meta now is basically so to just punish somebody if they swap out. I feel. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess... You heal 4,400, but I take 3,800, and I guess you do get the counter off, yeah. Um, but then, what can you do? You can't really do much, unless you swap out, give me a cloak. If he has a Sino, or a Monla Rhino, then yeah, I think he's, he's killed me. But, I, he's probably just gonna have to take this loss, I think. Oh no, he does go for it. Okay, interesting. Scorpius Rex could be a good one. I'm trying to think. Really, it's... Oh, a Mortem Rex. Right. Interesting. Did he want to die? Okay. Well, at least he showed the skin. <laughs> I suppose. Oh god. There we go. Back in. <laughs> and then, what's he gonna go for now? Now is he gonna go for a heal? Like, what, what's his plan here? Like, I'm predicting... What <laughs> you idiot, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God. I should, yeah, also, anytime I move away, it goes, yeah, there's Toast. You want, you want to focus on that. So now, okay, is this going to be a 3 0 win? I feel like this is going to. Okay. See, sometimes I have to try really hard, and other times, it's just the look of the draw. I remember some people saying, oh, the best time to actually play this game is this, because then uh, all the hardcore people are at work. <laughs> um. I mean, what's he gonna go for? Like, nullifier? Sure, yeah, go for it. I'll just do some damage to him. I could have just fought it off, I suppose, but even if he just wants to go for a regular hit, at least I gotta shield it. Ah, that's fine, that's fine, he can do that, that's cool. Uh, then next hit, I'm gonna do a lot to him. I don't think I go through dodge, because he's gonna, he's gonna do the cautious, I think. But even then, he does this, and then I've got superiority next to him. So, he has to swap out or else he's dead. Uh, wow, I didn't realize that to do that much damage. Oh, never mind, he's died. Okay, we got a 3 no win. Was it deserved? I think, no. He helped me. <laughs> if he hadn't have decided to just fodder off his uh, Mortem Rex, I would have been in a pickle there, man. Like, a big, big trouble. The fact that, like, my Ankylosaur looks couldn't deal with it, my Endotaurus. Ah, oh, nah, if he got... Ooh, that would have been nasty. I didn't even check its stats. Maybe it was all attack or all speed. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.